Hey everybody, it's Mike, Pro Steel Products. Uh, today, uh, yesterday I released my new setup. Uh, what I did was altered my revised pack out plate, triple, three in a row. Uh, first, I want to tell you how this all got started and then how I developed into, into getting where I'm going. Uh, here's the original plastic plate that Milwaukee sells. Uh, I strapped this in and put my coolers on it and whatever, kept rolling around and I decided to build my own plates. And the reason why I did not mount this, uh, it, it's in my installation videos of my plates. But when you got a 30,000 plus machine, dollar machine, uh, I'm not going to drill holes in it and put it in plastic. Uh, there's guys out there that got the triple plate and they're drilling holes in their machine. If they, they're comfortable with doing that, that's fine. Probably going to last, but the plastic, you're putting a lot of stress on it because that plastic has to float in there. And these metal inserts, you're putting the bolt down through it and bolting it to plastic. You may hit a piece of frame or something that might secure these, but you can't undrill a hole and I refuse to drill holes in my machine. Just for the fact that I can take my plate out, put the original bolts back in, and you'll never know it was there. So uh, I stay away from guys in the groups that are talking about these, that think they're the greatest thing since sliced bread. I disagree. Uh, you know, they, they have the honeycomb, they're pretty stout. This probably would not do anything, but I'm worried about the machine. Drilling holes, putting it on the plastic. Some of these guys put some serious weight on these. Uh, when you're working that and working that on that plastic and you don't have a good frame mount, uh, you're taking a chance on cracking that plastic. And here's why. On my installation videos, when I take the D-ring bolts out right here, uh, I tell you there's a silver washer down there. You must leave that in there. Reason being is it stops from when you tighten whatever you're tightening down from grabbing a hold of that plastic. So that plastic floats in there. So it's got to move a little bit. If you lock it down on one of these, you're taking a chance on maybe it cracking. Uh, might last forever, I don't know. But anyway, let's talk about this new setup and get rid of this this is uh all dusty and everything because i don't use it except for a template or something but anyway this plate i had to alter it a little bit and i had to alter this cooler because this is the uh, 40 quart cooler that i built the combo xl i have this cooler sitting sideways and the single on the other side Without having this cooler in stock or in my possession, I built that to accommodate this when it come out, just by doing the measurements. But everybody's been asking me, they like the three in a row, can you make this fit? I, and uh, I gotta give a shout out to Ray Wilson in Oklahoma. He called me last week, figuring out what plate he wanted to buy. Finally uh, decided on a revised plate. And I told him I was going to work on maybe altering this and cut them handles off on the sides to make it fit that plate. And maybe I can, I said, but I got to do a lot of measurements. And I said, I'm really busy right now because you guys are ordering so much. And thank you, everybody. But uh, he called me a couple days ago and he reminded me who he was. And I said, oh, yeah, I remember. And he says, well, I did it. And I was like, what'd you do? And he says, those handles come right off. And I thought it was like these where you can't take the handles off, but this cooler, they will come off and I'm gonna put a video out of how to take those handles off. So you can actually put them back on if you want to. So it's pretty simple to take these handles off. I just didn't look at it because I was busy doing other things. But after Ray's call, I got this done. Turns out that after you take the handles off, it'll fit on the revised plate and I always put the coolers away from the exhaust pipe on the left side. So I put that in there, but I could not get that single box in because it was too far that way. And I had to alter the revised plate with the handles off 
And if you notice the gap here compared to the gap there, I moved this whole set of pockets to the left. I have just enough room to do it, and it's a real close tolerances, but I got it done, and it turns out you can do a lot of things with this setup this way. You cannot put a double box on this side because I spread these apart, and it's not going to fit. Uh, these will not fit on the bottom row because of these handles. Probably if you cut them off, you could probably get these down here but I just put it on there just to show you that that's an option you can put these up top. Uh, so this is what I wanted to show you how I did this and I pulled it over to make it fit. Uh, if you have the revised plate, uh, you can put this cooler on that plate but you're going to lose that end box. It won't go on. So I thought about, well, maybe I could just build an uh, adapter plate or something, but it's still not going to work because this needs to come this way. So uh, with this plate, you have quite a few options. It looks clean, uh, and uh, it's the revised plate. It's a lot lighter than my heavy-duty plate. And these boxes, uh, you can set them up just by any way you want to go but this is a cooler and you can also put uh, a toolbox on top of this uh, that toolbox the double wide one there is a taller one you can put it on there but I'd be careful going way way high because you'll get the pendulum effect up there if you go real real high you might want to put a strap on it or something with these D-rings and just just secure it a little bit It'll probably be fine, but I'm just over cautious. But anyway, this uh, pops right out. You still have handles on the side to carry your cooler. And this drain plug is accessible when you take those single plates out or boxes out. So when you take this all apart, the only thing that you cannot do, and here's a couple of them, is this toolbox, these uh, edges here are extra thick compared to the cooler. So this box will not go over to the left. It won't fit on there. But you can put a cooler on there. So if you wanted to go three wide, you can. Uh, by putting a cooler over here and you want it away from the exhaust pipe, so there you go. So. This plate bolts in just like the revised plate, so I don't think I have to do an installation video. Uh, you can just watch the revised plate installation and uh, make sure that you have those washers in there so the, the bed will actually float in there. Uh, other than that, you can't put a double box on this side anymore because I spread those apart. So I eliminated that locking hole right here and I just put my logo there. But this is it. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to call or email me. Uh, this is a real clean setup. I kind of like it. Uh, let me show you. This box will go over here. And it locks in. It's real tight and everything. Now, uh, if you wanted to run three cross, you can do that and then put the other one on the other side. You'll have three across, just like the revised plate. But if you wanted the, the 40 quart cooler, uh, just move one of these down. And get this one out. And this cooler snaps in there so easy. Uh, and there you go. You've got. Uh, now, I forgot to show you that you can put these up here too, slap them in if you want an extra cooler or a toolbox. But I wanted to show you, I forgot to do it. Okay, this box up there, you can actually access the cooler without taking that box off, which is pretty cool. Uh, you got your bottle opener, hopefully, you're not taking glass out on the trail. 
There you go. If you're seeing this video, it's already on the internet and prosteelproducts.com. If you want to see more of these videos, be notified. Uh, subscribe and like this channel, and that way you'll hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when I bring out a new video. But anyway, it's like 17 degrees in here. I'm going to turn the heat back on because it's kind of noisy. But if you have any questions about this, give me a shout, and we'll see you on the trail.